Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we got another dope video for you guys So today what we're gonna be doing is trying out triple tank in the siege So we just tried it one time with a little bit of a different comp and it didn't work out It was our only game that we played with triple tank. We lost on the very last bot by like one uh, By one bolt, but besides that we we're grinding earlier. We we're getting some dubs. We we're doing very very well We're gonna be pushing a little bit more this season just because we haven't been pushing too much And we want to have sharp skills for the online regional qualifiers next weekend but anyways, what we're going to be doing is doing some triple tank and testing the theory to see if this can actually work. Now, a lot of teams don't use this. Um, I know in Europe and in Asia, tanks are more heavily meta, where in North America, it's more about range and skill. So what we're going to be doing right now is trying out the triple tank and seeing if we can beat the NA. Uh, just random ladder players at pretty high trophies, 800 for the first day of the season. So really good competition. Um, we're going to test our theory and see if triple tank can work. So let's hop into the games and let's see what we can do. Okay, so here we go into our first game, and we're going to be going up against a bull, a penny, and a uh, and a barley. So a pretty typical comp. Uh, we're just going to move up the lanes here, and we have a lot of combined HP. So we could kind of just walk forward and just hope for the best at this point. Uh, don't really need to hit too many shots. We're going to be able to pick up the first couple bolts. Uh, we're going to be hitting a shot over there. Something that's really important is that we don't take too much collateral damage, because that's really the only thing that can do enough to take us out we're gonna be able to get a hit over there gonna be able to kill this bull and we're gonna move up gonna be able to collect that bull and now we do have this on our side so something that would be good uh to deal with the mortars to try and hit the mortar and the bull at the same time we weren't able to do so but at least we took out the mortar and got one hit off on that bull so it is a little bit better um we're kind of trapped in this corner over here the wi-fi didn't help too too much as it kind of didn't let us move um, you guys might notice uh, I'm wearing a hat by the way. I am repping SSG. They did send me this hat for the holiday So thank you to them David's gonna get ooh David's gonna get three bolts in his possession right over there Which is obviously really good. I'm gonna use a super on this bull not gonna be able to hit it Bull's gonna dash forward. I'm gonna get two shots off on him. So that wasn't really a bad exchange It looks like we're gonna lose this by one bolt, but that's perfectly fine because we do have pretty good defense Oh, maybe not. Okay, so it's gonna be all about this siege so we've tied the first two, which doesn't usually happen anymore. But things are looking really, really good for us actually at this point. We do have a lot of HP, so it will take them a while to get us out of mid if they are going to be able to. And it might be too late for them at that point. Sands is almost going to get a kill, but he's not going to be able to do so. I'm going to use my super, be able to pick up the kill on that barley. I'm going to get two shots over there. I'm going to get my super right back gonna use it on the penny it's not gonna hit but at least the penny was pushed out of the way and it looks like we're gonna have a really 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 big bot going in over here um hopefully we can get it to 30 because you don't really see too many 30 bots anymore but i don't think we're gonna be able to i think it might be 28 or 29 something around that but anyways yeah it's gonna be a 28 bot that's a big one no way we aren't getting a 100 percent on this one and look at him go he's just going down marching his way but that's going to be the first game it's going to be a really really good game and so far our theory did work so we didn't really do too much of anything yet we're still able to get 100 to 0 victory really really good first game that did uh kind of prove a lot since we were just facing a fairly meta comp on this map but anyways let's hop into the second game and see if the trend continues and let's see if we can, con if we can continue getting these dubs okay so here we go into our second game and it looks like we're going to be going up against rosa Penny and Sandy. Interesting. Okay, so we're going to move up over here. A little bit choppy, but it should be fine. Don't really know why my why my Wi-Fi is acting up all of a sudden. So we're able to get two quick shots over there. Going to be able to get a third, which is going to give us our super. And although we didn't get the kill, we're able to break walls over there, which is really important. And, oh, I thought we were going to be able to get our super. But honestly, this is fine. Okay, there we go. We got it. Gonna use it right here. Gonna be able to pick that up. Gonna move back. Oh, I can't believe that still hit us even though we have we moved back. Anyways, we still have our super. We have the two we have a three-nothing bolt lead actually right now. And we have the first push. So either way, this isn't looking really, really, really good. If I can move up in time, I'm gonna be able to get my super off, which obviously is gonna lead to a lot of damage. Triple tank obviously does really, really good damage. We're gonna use our super um okay there we go we're able to end it so there we go really good one push uh even though i died and we didn't play it perfectly we still did really 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 well and it's actually looking like this comp might really really work out so anyways let's hop into the next game 2-0 so far looking good let's get into it and see what happens okay so here we go into the third game here and we're facing a little bit of a more diverse comp so we actually been seeing this a lot double uh double turret and thrower 
but more so the double turrets. We're just going to walk up, soak some damage, pick up the first couple uh, bolts over here, which is what we can do with a comp like this. Um, so we're going to be able to get the first bot over here. Things are looking really good. David's just going to go in. Wow. Aggressive play by David. Almost works out. One less shot and he would have been fine. Going to be able to pick that up over there. Sans is going to charge a super and I'm going to get mine right back. Very good on Sans. That's a pro note, by the way. If you guys see a Frank is going to get a super back by getting a kill, don't steal his kill and let him get a super back because it's going to be far more important than whatever super you're going to get unless you're like a Tara. So anyways, we're going to use our super again. Going to get a stun. And again, this is going to be an easy one push. Um, not really much to say right there. Just a really easy game. We did exactly what we should have been doing every single game, which is just so soaking up damage, getting for a spot and going in and one pushing. But anyways, that's going to be the end of the third game. Let's hop into the fourth and see if we can do the same. Okay, so here we go into our fourth game, and this is probably the best comp that we've faced the uh, entire video so far. We're going to be facing Barley, BB, and uh, and Daryl. Okay, so the BB is going to be able to just run in and get that first bolt, which is kind of like our strategy, uh, except it's just faster. So um, we're going to be able to pick up one bolt. I'm just going to have to tank a shot or something here. Okay, we're going to be able to tie this first one. That's a pretty good start. Uh, going to work on breaking open a few walls just so that they can't move as freely. Especially the barley gonna go for a super gonna be out of range But this comp is gonna be pretty easy to charge my super again, so I'm not too worried about uh, hitting it every single time Gonna be able to get my super but I am going to die there So they're probably gonna get the first bot But that's fine because we haven't really defended in this video at all And something that's really important with triple tank is the fact that you can defend really really well I'm gonna fake my super the Daryl should be rolling into us. It's the obvious play here can't really do much as a Frank against a Daryl. And there we go. We screwed up over there. So we're going to be able to get a couple shots. Um, Put myself in a bad spot though. So even though he did screw up and he made a misplay, he's still able to get the kill. So the bolts are obviously heavily in their favor. They're going to have a strong push here. But with triple tank, hopefully we're going to be able to stop them. David's going to have a miss roll and do something that wasn't probably the greatest play in the world. We're going to be able to get two shots off over there, which is pretty good. And the defense is going pretty solid, I'd say, considering how big their attack was. They're not going to one push, which is basically all we needed. And two of them are going to go down. So it is imperative that we start getting the bolts right now. Uh, that guy's going to try and roll on sands. He's going to be unsuccessful with it. We're going to be able to pick up that bolt over there. And we're just going to need to get a bolt um, or two, because if we do win this... Um, win this mid control here then we are going to get have a very easy victory because obviously with our comp pushes are very easy we do a lot of damage anyways that bb looks like it's given up because there's about nothing it can do gonna waste my super over there um i'm gonna go down which is actually not that op because i'm imperative but i'm actually gonna stay up okay i thought i was 100 going down david did save our lives over there which was really really important gonna take our time over here uh but either way it looks like we have won the game gonna use my super and that's going to confirm the victory. So we're 4-0 so far on the video. This one was actually a little bit difficult of a win. So GG's to them. We're going to do one more game to see if we can go 5-0 on the video. So let's hop into this final game. And let's see if we can go 5-0. Okay, so here we go into our final game. And we're going to be going up against a Rosa, a Jesse named Lil Pump, and a... I think that was a Dynamite. So we're going to go up the mid over here and just try and get this first bolt as always. Just gonna tank some shots doesn't really matter because we're gonna have 6k hp hp either way sands is going to go down but because we can just tank shots and stay in the middle we're gonna have three bolts and probably four by the end of this wave uh opened up the mid a little bit which is kind of op as a frank for the mid to be opened up gonna use our super gonna be able to get one hit over there sands is going to steal our kill which that was a little bit of an, a less obvious scenario but again try not to steal kills if your Frank is trying to get super, because obviously I could have just supered right here and it would have been a lot easier for our team. I'm able to get super back though. Um, and it looks like we're just going to one push again. Gonna get another super and that's gonna end the game. So anyways, I think this does prove the theory that triple tank is a very easy working strategy. We're playing at 830 trophies at the very first day of the season. So we can't really get much diff more difficult opponents than we do right now. So anyways, I would definitely recommend using the strat because you guys saw we made plenty of mistakes um, and we still came out on top every single time. And I'm sure you guys can too. So anyways, it's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will be back tomorrow with another video. I will catch you guys then. Peace.